thank God for him. Thank you for the other pastors who served through the week, who did whatever they did, whatever service they were in. God indeed bless you. Can we put our hands together for Reverend Chip Tay and the rest of the team? Uh, who else was there in the course of the week? Uh, Osaka was there in the course of the week. Reverend uh, Jane. All the team, Major, was there for lunch hours. Major Lichapua. With all the accessories. My driver alikuwa anatoa damu na masikio. Alipigwa alifika hospitali bila kusikia upande moja. But we had to pray for God to come through. Some of us, we had to be put. Inaitwa nini zile dawa za kunini? Drips. Some of us had to be put two drips marambili. Ndiyo tusikie, tumeanza kurudi uhai. It is a good experience in terms of knowing what people go through. But it's a bad experience in terms of relationship with the implementers. With those who send, with those who gave orders, it is a bad experience for any human being to give orders against the body of Christ. It is wrong. And for some of us, if you sit down with us and talk to us, you can tell us what you want to do and we can tell you what we think. We are people that can dialogue. But I, I think in this world there are people who don't understand the meaning of the word dialogue or integrity for the least. We said that Tuesday that God will reveal our enemies. And some of us, our enemies were so deep that it took some warfare for us to know them and understand them. But it is also good that now we are there. Today, I want us to understand some of the things that are happening in the spiritual realm what I would call current spiritual affairs or current, yeah, current spiritual affairs. You know there is political current affairs. He is spiritual. Where are we spiritually? What is happening in the spiritual realm? What is God doing? For those who know and I said this on Thursday in the press, uh, in the press conference, for the avoidance of doubt, the two properties, which are that one and this one combined, we bought them when they were two and then we combined, algamated them into one. They are owned by Jesus is Alive Ministries. Tell your neighbor they are ours. They are ours. And ask your neighbor, are you old enough to have been here when we were buying? Akakwambia aje. And some of you were growing up at that time and now you can see what we bought. Yes. So when you get a crazy person trying to imagine that this is their properties, you wonder whether they are mad or they are sick or what is wrong with them. Or is it that there is high greed for high-end properties because we are seated on a gold mine so is it that it is the greed or it's the corruption or it's the what i do not know i only see the devil there and we shall deal with the devil so let me help you understand that we did not bring ourselves here we did not plant ourselves we did not come by ourselves God brought us here. In 1996, some of you are not born, some of you are toddlers, and some of you who are my age or just a little bit younger than me, you are somewhere uh, growing up. I was also a younger lady, quite young. And in that 1996, we did our first family service. 
<laughs> we were so poor, we couldn't afford to go anywhere. <laughs> so what we did, and I'm preaching, if you think I'm telling you a story, I'm already preaching. So what we did is that we agreed this department go bring pilau. The other department bring beef stew. The other department bring fruits. The other department bring vegetables. In other words, tulichanga chakula zote. There were people who were bringing mokimo, others were bringing chapatis. We all brought food. And we brought that food to Mang, where we had the church then on the first floor. Hey, it was good. Small, crowded, but good in terms of the love and the unity. And we ate and we danced and we rejoiced and we had the whole day to ourselves so everybody could take the microphone and introduce themselves and tell us who they are and what they do, which home cell they belong in, where they live, so their status, etc, etc, etc. It was a wonderful time. Then, as we were there, <laughs> the old man, the late Mze, called me outside. A long story there. And I went outside. I was wearing, I like preaching in long dresses. Short dresses do not help the men to hear the gospel. So ladies who intend to be preachers, take it from me. Short dresses are not bad. But once you wear short dresses when you are singing or preaching, those men are not hearing what you are singing or preaching. They are looking at other things. Okay. So, me and my long dresses, it, it is a fact. It is a fact. You don't expect our brothers to be blind. They are not blind. And even if they close their eyes when they are worshipping and when they are praying, somewhere along the line they'll open their eyes. They can't close their eyes forever. Anyway, so, me and my long dress... Because I was very tired, when Muse called, I found him down the staircase and I went and leaned on the wall. And he started talking to me and told me, You cannot bring food here. I said, Muse, I'm sorry, I didn't know. He said, You can't. You can't come and eat here. I said, Muse, before we hired this place, it was a disco hall. He said, You are a church. You're not supposed to be eating. You know, I don't know why people expect churches to be poor and begging and not doing, not having any fun. Can you tell your neighbor here in this GM family we have a lot of fun? Oh yes, hallelujah. Amen. So, as we were there, he pulled out his gun and he put it on my head. You know, I'm leaning on the wall. So I just slipped down and sat on the staircase. And I started talking to him. I told him, Zay, we are sorry that we brought in food. But uh, please, it will, not be, it will not happen again. The welders came with welding machines. And they started welding the doors. Where are the church members with children inside? A building that has very little windows at the top. Not at the low level or middle, at the top to Dirisha to Dogo. So even the air is a problem. So I'm trying to tell him people will suffocate inside there and he's not understanding. He refused to listen. It was around 4.30 going to 5 p.m. We argued, argued, argued up to 7 p.m. Mama tried to bembeleza him. He didn't hear and he left. And when he left, I could only pray. You know, his gun was loaded and he was very drunk. He could forget that it was in my head. So I started by thanking God that I was still alive. Then secondly, I prayed to God that the wife will prevail on him and he will come and open the place. Hours are going and somewhere along the line the mama came i pleaded with her and she left again and somewhere along the line the welders came back and removed the welding now at that time i had become desperate because those are not the days of mobile phones 
there was no way to communicate to my congregation up there. So I went behind bus station and I picked stones and I started hitting the windows, risking that any window can break. And since they are very high, it will the glasses will splash and people will get concerned. Because they really don't know what is happening to me outside. So as I started throwing stones, I have already now communicated that people should pray. And people are praying. They are deep in prayer. So God has come through. The doors are open. I went back in. I remember there was like a lady with a yellow jacket. I just told her to pray. And off we left. Everybody went home. After that, the welders sealed off the building and said we cannot come back. Hey! I thought now we cannot come back. Where are we going to go? This Nairobi to get a place even those days was a big problem. Where are we going to go? On Monday, as usual, it has been my day off for many years. So I went to pray. And I prayed and prayed and prayed and had no breakthrough. Totally no breakthrough. Touch your neighbor for me and tell your neighbor, trust the process. And fear not when the enemy exhales. Fear not when it looks like the enemy has an upper hand. Be courageous and continue praying. I prayed there was no breakthrough. Now I had a habit of giving a lift to Bishop Muzomba. Bishop Muzomba is my great friend. I had a habit of giving a lift to Bishop Muzomba and dropping them at uh, Aboratam. When they finish, I'll pick them up and drop them back. And I would go to my business. So this time I said, even me, I'm going to Aboratam. So Tuesday, I woke up and I went to Aboratam. I prayed, I prayed, I prayed. And I was tired. And I was lying down there. And I slept off. When I slept, you know, unafika mahali ya mbaba unambia buwana, by the way, ata kanisa siyo yangu. Eh, eh, unajua siyo yangu ni yake. Mimi ni steward. Kanisa ni ya? Ni yake. Unafika mahali unambia mungu, ata hawa shirika. Siyo wangu. Uli nileta, mi niwe pasta wao. Ni watu wako. Sasa we mungu, ujua vile utafanya nao. Tuesday, by then, was our miracle service day. So jioni kifika wakuja wapate hakuna ibada. We mungu ndio utajua vile mutaambiana na washirika wako. So, I prayed God took me up in a vision while I was sleeping there. Very exhausted. Mentally, emotionally drained. Very exhausted. And God brought me to this place. And he showed me this jurisdiction. I looked at this area. I looked down this way. I looked that side. I looked that side. I looked this side. All the four sides. And I said, Lord, yeah, that's where we have church. That's where we have church. That's where we have church. Now the place was so dirty and filthy. I said, Lord, this place is a mess. It is so dirty. It is so filthy. Now, before we came here, we were at KICC. So I said, Lord, how do you remove us from KICC and bring us downtown to this dirty, filthy place? And I complained to God. And then I said, anyway, the church is yours. The people are yours. Even me, I am yours. And I said, do what you are doing, Lord. Me, I'm done. Now to Mefkuzwa, at a year downtown, we even have nowhere to meet. So I went back to sleep. I went back to the normal sleep. Then I woke up. I realized, hiya. I was in a vision. And I was taken to where the church is. And that place doesn't look nice at all. Hiya, what, what happened? Then again, prayed, prayed, prayed and slept. Then the Lord took me up in a second vision and brought me on this street. Hey, God of heavens, 
It was not what it is today. GTT was built. It was not what it is today. There were huge buildings, modern buildings, beautiful buildings. You know, in 1996 in Kenya, there were supermarkets, but there really weren't many malls, even if. So malls were not the in thing like they are today. I saw malls and I thought, hiya. Now, by then I had traveled. I've been to South Africa, I've been to Europe, I've been to America. I know about malls. So I'm thinking, so even in Kenya, we can build such things. And I'm thinking, this place has transformed. And I said, Lord, what happened? And the Lord said to me, he said to me, I have given you the whole of that place as your inheritance. Hallelujah. I woke up. I thought, why? Me, by then, we have a problem paying the few thousands of shillings we used to pay for rent and now God is saying, he has given me this place for an inheritance. The Bible says God does plant us. Say my plant. Plants. If God plants you in a place, be confident nobody can uproot you. Oh, yes. If they try to uproot you, God will uproot them. Yes. Now you didn't hear me somebody. You did hear me somebody. If they try to uproot you, God will do what? God will uproot them so those years i was so poor god is speaking about inheritance and me i have no idea how i can even get that inheritance that day i was overwhelmed by the power of god and by the vision i saw so i decided that afternoon to come downtown here to come and see what changed and if now the new buildings have manifested so I came and I walked in front of the hotel and the secretary called me and said, those days I was a pastor, pastor, kuja, 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 mama amesema, urudishua ufunguo, rudisha kanisa. I said, what? Hallelujah. I took the keys. I went back to where our church was on first floor and that's how we got back so was the fight about food and family service no the fight was about understanding your jurisdiction oh, yeah. when you see them tell them bishop margaret in that area she is already in dominion in authority yes. in herself she's a principality yes. when you attack her you better know who you are touching yes. i am here by assignment yes. by appointment yes. by being planted yes. by the almighty god oh, yes. i did not bring myself here yes. i did not give myself these buildings yes. these are buildings that belong to the almighty god yes. and this altar yes. is not an altar that anybody can mess around with yes, Lord. Lift up your hands and thank God. Yes, thank Lord. God for our inheritance. Yes, thank God for this jurisdiction. Yes, thank yes, God for this place you, where Jesus. He has planted yes, us. My thank God that He has given yes, us my these properties. Yes, Lord. Thank God that nobody yes, will Lord. take what belongs In to us. Thank Jesus. God yes, that Lord. He is able yes, to bring Father. down yes, my every Father. human being. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, my God and my Father, we lift your name, Jesus, we exalt your name, my Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. We stand in our yes, place. My we stand in we our position. My we bind the priest and the heir. 
name of we Jesus. We bind the hierarchies of darkness. In the name of Jesus. We bind the authorities we bind of hell. We bind we the Freemasonry. We bring we down their kingdom. Down. We bind the Antichrist. Christ. We bring down we bring their kingdom. Down we bring down their power In the name of Jesus Christ. We call up our secretary. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We bind every principality. We bind every power. We bind every principality. We bind them upon my father. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Yes, my father. Yes, my God. In the name of Jesus. Assignment, yes, Lord, to drive away, yes, my father, every weakness, yes, Lord, to drive away, drive away, every creed, yes, sir. every Lavidian BM of spirit, yes, my father, every antichrist, yes, Lord. every Freemasonry, yes, my every father, every wicked evil eyes, yes, my God, every red witches, yes, sir. black witches, yes, Lord, white witches, yes, Lord, green witches, yes, Lord, every powers of hell, yes, my father, we are driven away today, in the name of Jesus, we need the power, yes, Lord, and the fire. Yes, Lord. Brother, Holy in Ghost, the name of I Jesus. Them yes, Lord. In the mighty name, in the name of, of our Lord Jesus. Christ. Let us continue. I said this last Tuesday when Queen Esther was brought in the palace and the other lady was removed and she was brought, she was brought with the purpose because God knew. The warfare that was coming against his people yes. and God raised the standard yes. and brought Esther yes. to fight every wickedness yes. and to fight every Haman yes. and the Bible says everything yes. including the delayed blessings yes. that belonged to Esther yes. that belonged to Mordecai yes. they were all restored oh, yes. they were all granted yes, Lord. this morning yes, Lord. in this month of Yes, Lord. In this month of new beginnings, yes, Lord. we bring down our hammers. Yes, sir. In their boardrooms, yes, my we father. We bring down our hammers. We bring them down. We cut off their tongues. Yes, my father. We render powerless. We render powerless. We decree to die. Decree the God. pit they dug for us. Yes, them. my father. They will be buried. They will be buried, oh Lord. In the mighty in name, the mighty of, name our Lord Jesus of our Lord Christ. Jesus Christ. Every hammer. Yes, my God. In the name of our sins. In the name of Jesus. Every hammer. Yes, my God. Yes, Lord. Every yes, in Lord. Whatsoever position, yes, Lord. Whatsoever name, yes, Lord. Today we prevail. We prevail. Against, against you, against you, in the mighty in the name, name of our Lord Jesus, of our Lord Jesus Christ. Hey, come on, say, come, come on, say, 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 come on, so the Bible says, yes, Lord. If they knew, yes, sir. they would have not crucified yes, Lord. the Son of God. Yes, Jesus. And if they knew, yes, sir. they would not have touched yes, sir. Bishop Margaret Wanti. Oh, yes, sir. Let the waters of God's glory yes, my begin to rise. In the name of begin Jesus. To rise. Begin to rise. Let the angels of God yes, my get into yes, assignment Lord, this Lord, morning. Lord, Lord, Lord. For they are our ministry. In the name of Jesus. In the mighty name, In the name of Jesus. Of our Lord Jesus Christ. My brothers, yes, Lord. my sisters, to whom much is given, yes. much is required. Yes. So let me finish that story first. That season, that vision. Sit down, thank you. Then I will come back to something else. So, in that season, we come back. And some people have already left. Some Christians don't like problems. I don't know where they live. And that tells you they own nothing. Because the devil is not going to let you own things without a battle. Oh, yeah. David says, the Lord teaches my hands to war. Oh, yeah. Hey, 
Somebody say, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. Teach my hands to walk. Teach my hands to walk. These devils, I must break their yes, neck. Lord. These devils, I must crush their yes, heads. Sir. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. So, Pastor Johan Dimea comes to do a conference for us from South Africa. He's a prophet of God. And he is standing, the pulpit was just like this, of course, smaller. And he is standing and he begins asking, What is this behind you? I said to him, Pastor Dimea, that is a wall. He says, no. There is more than a wall. Behind me here, remember now we are there. And he says, behind me here, I see your building. Hallelujah. I see your inheritance. Hallelujah. I see your property. Hallelujah. He did not know about the visions that I had. And he says, I see God giving you the whole of this area as your inheritance. Hallelujah. Hey! And he said, if I were you, I would start looking for those who are selling around this area. Hallelujah. To cut a long story short, and don't forget there is a reason I've given you this story. Cut a long story short. We started looking for the owner of that building. We found who they were, and they were selling got into an agreement we were supposed to pay 4.5 million for deposit 10 percent but instead we paid 10 million the agreement said 4.5 so the muhindi became mujauli and thought he can get away with the other money and say it is up to us we were not supposed to pay the 10 million so another story there for another day but we ended up in court and so, one day I'm still seated there in the old office and the Lord asked me to check out this building. I didn't come. I sent my manager. He brought a bad report, said no, that can never be a church. I sent somebody else. He brought a bad report and said no, that can never be a church. The third day, God spoke to me and said, I never told you to send anybody. I told you to go yourself. Go check out that building so I came coincidentally as God would plan for me that day the people who are selling the wazungus who are selling this property had come to come and inspect to do a final inspection with their board of directors so when I came the doors were open full of wazungus here greeted them introduced myself and told them if I look at the place and see that it is suitable it can suit a church I will buy the property and they said check it out if we can sell it the faster we sell it the better we are closing down the company so as they are winding up the company started negotiating got a good deal and the money we were waiting to pay the other property to finish up paying since now that one had taken us to court and has gone to Canada we bought this one and paid the first day we had a service here, we could only sit that side because we had not done this other side. And as we were seated that side, I saw the former owner of the other property walking in with his brother. I asked him, why are you here? He said, I have come from Canada. I have come to give you back your property because I realize I can't fight with God. Hallelujah. cut a long story short we went to court entered a consent and now ended up with the two properties fully paid and they are debt free when you see them tell them they are fully paid and they are debt free yes. and nobody yes. is taking a niche yes. of what belongs to the Jesus is alive ministry if anybody dares they will know that God does bless his people yes. and plant his people at the right place yes. and that is what God has done for us yes. in this place oh, yes. we are planted here there is nothing to fear we don't owe anybody and we are here to stay okay. tell your neighbor this is our property this is our property and tell your neighbor and the other one is our property and the other one is our property and the devil can take his agents to hell yes. and they can go all to hell and leave us rejoicing here preaching the gospel oh, yes. proclaiming the glory is yes.
is yes. here and enjoying the inheritance yes, that God has given us. Yes. It is also very wrong for some human beings to think that single women or single mothers like me cannot own anything. By the way, you have no idea how much I own. If I were bragging like some of them, they wouldn't even believe. They will say, no, she doesn't own that much. Why? Because I'm humble, they think I'm poor. Please don't mistake the humility and the poverty. Oh, yeah. God delivered me from poverty and I can tell you I am more wealthy than some of those characters. When you see them, tell them not to mess around with me. Oh, yeah. Whatever I have, nothing is grabbed, nothing is stolen. It is what I have worked for. It is what I have sweated for. Yes. 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 Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. And therefore, my brothers, my sisters, Musitishike. Yeah. Musitishike. Oh, yes. Ata wenza wa kotu wa pakwa i bada wa kombali. Musitishike. Oh, yes. Musitishike. Hallelujah. Most of them don't even have a 10 by 10, they don't even have quarter plot. They don't even have an eight, one eighth. Mm -hmm. They don't even know the pain of buying and paying in full of any property. They don't even know the pain of ownership. And they think they can just take things for free. They think God is like a boy in heaven who they can twist and mess around with and joke around with him. No, no, no. This God whom I serve said unto King David, yes. David, I am giving you leadership. But you must be just and fair. Oh, yes. God is not of God, is not God of theft, of greed, of corruption. No, God is not unjust yes. and He's not unfair. God is just and fair. Yes. Full stop. Thank you, Lord. Thank Lift up your hands and thank God for glory to in towers. Thank you, Lord. Lift up your hands and tell the Lord, no man yes, sir. shall be able to withstand us. Yes, Lord. Lift up your hands and tell God, yes, sir. this is the vision of Africa yes, shall be saved. Father. This is the vision that He has yes, given us. My God. And nobody, yes, Lord. No, man no man shall be able, shall be able to, withstand to withstand us. Nobody, nobody. like it was with Joshua. Yes, my Father. Nobody. nobody. Yes, Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ. To withstand us. Yes, my Father. Nobody. Nobody. Shall be able. Shall be able. To withstand us. To withstand us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Can we thank God for that vision because we suffered then? Thank you, Father. So that we can see Jesus. Can you raise up your hands and tell the Lord, even me from today, yes, I will Father. recover all. In the name of Jesus Christ. Grace and favor like Lord, Esther. I will recover. And I will recover all. In the name all. of Jesus, I will recover Everything all. Everything the devil has stolen. I will stolen, recover my Father. I will recover. I will recover my God. I will recover all. I will recover all, my I Father. Will recover all. I will recover in the name of I Jesus Christ. All. I will recover all, my Everything Father. Everything. Everything, my that Father. The devil has stolen, that the devil had stolen of God. I will recover all. I will recover all, my what Father. What I have started. What I have started, my I will Father. Complete. I will complete. I will God. complete. I will complete. I I will complete. I will complete. I Jehovah. will complete. I will complete my father in the name of Jesus Christ. Now, brothers and sisters. So, in 2006, we have already come here. We have raised this altar unto the Lord. And in 2006, God spoke to me about the leadership political leadership of starehe constituency i wasn't hearing anything i loved supporting politicians and praying for those that i thought they would be just and fair and i had a very good relationship with the older mp honorable kirima 
before them. Then the other one came and he was just hell on earth. And God spoke to me about Starhead constituency and I said no. I said, Lord, <laughs> sometimes the assignments you give me, Lord, <laughs> so prophetess Brenda comes and she's preaching here on this altar. Somebody say this altar. This altar. And the woman of God begins to prophesy. And she has prophesied to everybody. And she calls me and says, come and hear what the Lord says. So I'll never forget. I came up here, somewhere here. And she started prophesying. And she spoke and said, God has called you into the political arena. But you have not given him an answer. You are resisting. God wants you to have both the priestly anointing and the kingship anointing. Amen. Now on the altar, you can't say no. You can't argue. So on the altar, I surrendered and I said, yes, Lord. And that is how we started the journey of Starehe constituency. The confusion in the spiritual realm. Because those days, the only politicians I knew, by the way, weren't doing very well. So I asked God, now God, so this politics, you must be with a party. Which party on which political leader should I join? Who should I work with? And God wasn't saying anything. So I got into prayer. Serious, serious prayers. Then I was called and I was told by some people, some of my friends are calling me. I went, they convinced me to join them. We did a press conference, I will never forget. Because that day, I removed my earring. And when I removed my earring, I put it in my blouse. And so, the journalists were talking about the earring. Not about what we were doing in that press conference. That press conference, I joined the team that was then with Honorable Raila and Honorable Kalonzo. Wonderful press conference and we finished. A few, I think a month or so, and we now have found a party and we are busy working together. Now the two disagreed and I had to decide who will I go with. I got into prayer and fasting and God took me to Kiambu. Remember me, I'm half Kiambu and half Muranga. So God took me to Kiambu, a place I know very well. And in that junction, there were very many people and there came this trailer, a trailer, and it is full of people and who was driving Raila Amolo Odinga. I looked at him. He called me and he said, Bishop Margaret, I have passed through this route to come and pick you up. There is only one space remaining for you. You get in now. If you don't get in now, I will go and leave you and I don't know what you will do next. I said to him, I'm not sure that I should be going with you. I was driving my black Land Rover Discovery then. He said, jump out of that small car and come into the trailer. Then I said to him, even this small car is faster than the trailer. He said, but it cannot carry many people. I said, oh, yes, it can't carry many people. And I realized politics is about numbers. So the third time, he said, come or I will leave you and go. I jumped out of my Land Rover Discovery and went into the trailer and we took off. And I knew God was speaking where I ought to be. And that's how we then now came and joined ODM. By that, by that time, there was no ODM. Because even the posters had been done by the past party ODMK. So we had to look for a party to buy and change the name to ODM for us now to have a party to move on. Another story for another day. And we moved on and did well and won 
the Starehe seat. Went for a by election and won the Starehe seat again. And God has been with us. And I'm trusting God for all the days to come. There will be no sinner, no wicked person, no evil person that will rule over Starehe constituency. Amen. Amen. Some of you missed what I said. I opened a door that the devil will never be able to shut. Oh, yes. Now, listen to this. So, I started asking God, why is Tarehe? You know, for me, if you ask me, I could have gone to other constituencies. But why is Tarehe? And I would have wished that any MCA or MP or even our current MP who is a son of this house, would be here to hear this. Starehe is the headquarters, the center, the center bolt of the Kenyan nation. Every office that matters is within Starehe in terms of government, in terms of rulership. Every office that matters is in Stare. Check that out for yourself. Every government office that matters in terms of leadership, rulership, government, politics is in Starehe constituency. Starehe is the center bolt of our nation, Kenya. I don't even think that the Starehians themselves, the people of Starehe, have ever understood that. However, I remember in the days of the former president, His Excellency Moi, there is something he used to say about Starehe. And I think it's just that we never got it right. It's just that we never got it right. So brothers and sisters, in 2007, after now vying with ODM, we got into post-election violence. And there was a lot of bloodshed in this country. We started praying and fasting. We had won the Starehe seat. We had not had our 31st Kesha come into fast. So we had not picked our scriptures. We had baked a big cake which we had not eaten, we had not shared because we had not had the service. We also had not had the anointing service. So, we came the first week of January, we met in church, we are sharing the scriptures, we are sharing the cake, and we are sharing the anointing. Yeah. You know, by then, nilikuwa nimetukanwa my people from Mount Kenya could not believe that I'm becoming a member of parliament with a party that they don't want to see. And walikuwa many to see so, hold on. I am here on the pulpit. I love worship. I am worshiping. I am lost in God's glory. And unannounced, unannounced, nobody said they are coming. Nobody said preserve seats for them. And unannounced, through my door here, I saw the former prime minister walking in followed by the current His Excellency the President William Ruto and a big team and they walked into Jiam. I am worshipping and I am standing here. I did not even tell anybody give them seats but the people who are seated there in front they started moving and giving them seats and I still continued in worship. I asked God at such a time when I'm suffering backlash from my own community, 
how can it be that now they are in church and God said I have brought them for a reason we are in worship and I said God what is the reason and God said today you are going to create a position that is non-existent in the constitution on this altar yes. I said Lord me create a position ah, yeah, 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 yeah. I continued worshiping I said Lord what do you want me to do the Lord said they are hurting they are hurting so pray for them anoint them decree the creation of the positions that they want and there will be positions enough for the people from your side of the government of the party I said wow okay hallelujah now for me the politics before was just about one constituency but now God is telling me I have the grace the anointing and the authority from heaven to create a national position Shoo. you know sometimes you don't know yourself sometimes you ask God but you know now already you are thinking the backlash from Mount Kenya hey so let me tell you what happened we got into the anointing service we have cut the cake we have picked the scriptures and I called His Excellency the President so those days we used to call him Honorable William Ruto called him called uh, His Excellency the former president the former Prime Minister Naira Odinga and invite them here in front we put a carpet and I told them to kneel down which they obeyed now the backlash shifted from Mount Kenya to the ODM followers how do you tell the president to kneel before you you woman you think you are God guy nearly to Kanoa I thought what's wrong with the people what God there is a lady who works in one of their offices I had to call her and tell her my sister I want you to understand what God did was so holy you will never even understand it even if I were to explain to you you would not understand it your level of wickedness will not allow you to understand what God did so when we were praying here me I did not speak English or Kikuyu or any language I only spoke heavenly language as God had told me the position is being created I created the position in tongues. Somebody say in tongues. In tongues. If you have never spoken in tongues, lift up your right hand and tell God, today I want to speak in tongues. Lift up your right hand, tell God today, not tomorrow, today I want to speak in tongues. Yes. Let me tell you friends, it reaches a place where you are English and you are Kikuyu and you are Kikamba and you are Luo, Luya or whatever language you speak will fail. Oh yes. You are left with a heavenly language and I prayed in tongues anointed them in tongues and decreed a position has been created and through that position most of us will be in government I did not even know what position we were creating but I tell you this day that very day at about 4 p.m. one of our colleagues then around there called me and asked me Bishop Margaret what did you give these people? Now they are happy. They are rejoicing. Now they are blessed. And I think today we are striking a deal. We are creating the position of the prime minister. Which is not even in the... I don't know whether you understand the power of the almighty God. I don't know whether you understand that this is a national altar. Oh, yes. Not a constituency or a world altar. Oh, yes. This is national altar yes. are you hearing me somebody yes. are you hearing me somebody yes. are you hearing me somebody yes. i want you to lift up your hands and thank god for starehe constituency i want you to thank god for kenya thank you lord lift up your voices thank you jesus thank god for starehe constituency thank you lord my father thank god for kenya thank you my father thank god for narabi for county thank god lord. for this country thank you my father out of this altar thank you jesus
Thank you, my father. Thank you, Lord, for star constituency. Thank you, my father, for this nation. In the name of Jesus. Yes, my Lord. Yes, my father. We fill this land of God. In the name of Jesus Christ. Out of this altar, my father. In the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. We give you glory, Lord. My brothers, my sisters. It is not a story that I'm telling you. I want you to understand our destiny. Oh, yes. I want you to understand who we are. And I want you to understand where we are. Oh, yes. So, years come, years go. Very challenging political situations. After campaigns, and we are about to win every seat we desired was taken away from us at one time i let go the Nairobi county and so kariobi became mp in madare which was part of the largest Tarehe, but now divided into two at another time after hard labor and work was forced out again and at another time the same thing happened now yesterday somebody say yesterday yesterday i'm not hearing you yesterday yesterday we had a pastor's meeting and we read first kings chapter 18 verse 30 and we said today we are rebuilding the altar yes god commanded me that a few days ago so we came yesterday to rebuild the altar and when I came up here on this altar to pray, the Lord reminded me that this is just not another altar in the city of Nairobi. This is a national altar. Believe you me, if you're clapping, you can clap. If you don't want to clap, keep your hands in your pocket. I'm sweating. So, I asked God, isn't that a conflict with my sisters at the top there? Women of God that I love and respect. And each and every one of them, they have <clears throat> national altars. I said, Lord, you're not setting me up for a battle of altars. And the Lord said to me, Guy more than me. The day you will sing, Jeff, that song you sing. My soul say yes. Say yes. Say yes. My soul say yes. Say yes. To the Lord. My soul say yes. Now my soul say yes. Like a Zacchaeus. he will take you to the valley of dry bones where you will even lift up your hands and tell him Lord I don't even know what you're doing with me here only you who knows if these bones can live 